Chloe, what time is it? I don't know, but it's getting kind of late. The, the Kind of Late, late show, show with Chloe and Anna. Anna. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Kinda Late Show. The show where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. One week from tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so that's what we want to talk about this week. But first we want to say thank you for watching and also that we are very thankful for our wonderful crew that helps us put on our show every week. Chloe, what are you personally thankful for this year? I'm going to start off with the basics. Obviously I'm very thankful for my family, I'm very thankful for my friends at home, very thankful for being able to make friends here. Thankful that I can go home and see my cats soon. Um, that I haven't failed out of school yet. The naps that I get to take during the day. Mm. You don't function without those naps. I don't function without <laughs> those naps. I really need those naps. Not gonna lie, it's a daily thing now. But uh, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A sauce specifically. I ran out today, so I'm kind of gonna cry about it later. Um, the fact that classes are canceled on Tuesday, thankful for that. Not for everybody. Uh, <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, my classes are canceled on Tuesday, so I get to worry about going home. And, you know, the fact that there's a Starbucks in Penfield, so I can get coffee every day to feed that addiction just a little bit more. The song Cleopatra by the Lumineers, thankful for that, gets me through a lot of my days. And most importantly, I am thankful for not Anna. Just kidding. Lots of love to Anna. Um, I don't know what I would do without my wonderful co-host. <laughs> Honestly, probably wouldn't have a show without her. But other than that, Anna, what are you thankful for? Well, obviously I'm thankful for you, Chloe. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm thankful for my family, specifically my cousins that go to school here, which is actually one of the big reasons I chose to come here, because I used to see them like once or twice a year, family vacations. And now I go to school with them and get to see them like every week, or every day sometimes like it's very exciting so very thankful for my family thankful to have them here um thankful for my friends at home who i talk to every day um I, like facetime my two best friends all the time so i'm really <laughs> don't look at me like that oh, ooh. um okay. happy to have them um really thankful that i'm like you said thankful that i made friends here like you and the rest of our friend group yeah, no for very real. grateful and then my cousin i'm friends with a lot of my cousin's friends through them that's why i was glad i was coming to school with my cousins because i knew i'd like have friends um because i obviously i could be friends with them and then hopefully I could be friends with their friends and i am so i'm really grateful for that um let's see i'm also thankful for the starbucks in penfield because sometimes they have those really good rice krispie treats and they're like Miss I don't them. Know, like this big <laughs> they're really good um, thankful also my classes are canceled on Tuesday so I'm thankful that um, I got an extra day to like prep before going home on Wednesday so it'll be fun I'm really thankful for just college and having I'm really thankful that I had a great transition to college because I know a lot of people like don't have a good transition like sorry but <laughs> like Ooh, some okay. people like it's difficult um, and honestly it wasn't obviously the easiest thing in the world but I'm grateful that it was not horrible like I had a decent transition like friends with my roommate um, made friends really quickly like I made friends with you maybe the first or second day yeah no it was like orientation week like we showed up what happened we literally uh, we went out for like the orientation stuff where we'd go around to different buildings and just like get presented to and right away we, I like saw her shirt and I was like she's from Long Island and then we became friends actually my roommate became friends and I tagged along well yeah because I was I snapchatted her roommate, Zoe. We love Zoe. Hi, Zoe. But um, I was snapchatting her. We both like watched the same show, so we talked about that, and then we saw each other the first day, and we were like, oh, you're a real person. Hi. And now, look <laughs> at, now look where we are. Now look where we are. Besties now we have a show. Besties. And our friend group just grew from there because mm -hmm. you had um, our other two friends you guys were already friends with, yeah. and then they, <clears throat> they had friends, so we just kind of blossomed into a nice big happy family <laughs> yeah and it really helped the transition because it made it like so we weren't always like alone like I know like it's been a little tough since getting here and luckily I've had like made I made great friends so it's been like easier to just everything be okay so but other than the things that we are thankful for what are some other things that you do on Thanksgiving I have a lot of fun Thanksgiving transitions um traditions I always say that I'm a mess tonight but a lot of fun Thanksgiving traditions 
Um, I go to my aunt's house, and one thing that we do that I always really enjoyed, it's always really fun, is we like, make our own whipped cream from scratch for like, well, put it on brownies or like on coffee, I guess. I don't know, I don't, I don't drink coffee, but that's what my like aunts and uncles and parents will do. Um, or on pie. So we have, my aunt puts it all in, a, all the ingredients and stuff into a big bowl, and then you have to whisk it a lot and like, really you just gotta like really get into it and so all the cousins will get in the line and we'll pass the bowl down the line taking turns we're all standing there yelling at each other counting down because you do it for a certain amount of time um so that's really fun it usually comes out pretty good like i've never had it and be like it was just gross okay, it's usually pretty good um ready whip not good enough for you okay ready whip's good but like just the satisfaction of knowing that you made that yourself okay. that makes it sense. just like adds a little spice okay. it just adds a little special moment a special memory is made making that whipped cream that's valid i guess <laughs> um we also my aunt she's like in charge of our christmas gifts she, we give her our christmas lists and then she'll like go through pick out what she wants to get us and then pass it on to the rest of the family but she demands gotta have that christmas list in on thing on or before thanksgiving i always get it in before because i'm an overachiever I'm also the only niece. It's me, my brother, and my two guy cousins. So like, um, sometimes I'm the favorite. So I get it in <laughs> All early. The time. Get it in early. Also, if you give her Kit Kats, um, for after you get your Halloween candy, you boost your points. You get, you're more you likely go. to get good gifts. So you gotta make sure you hand it in. And then, yeah, we also get our advent calendars. She gives us from Trader Joe's. So it's really fun. It's like a nice entrance into like Christmas. Yeah. After I Thanksgiving. I think that's what Thanksgiving <laughs> is anyway. It's just the leeway into into Christmas like Thanksgiving is like a week and then before Thanksgiving is Christmas after Thanksgiving is Christmas but what do you do for Thanksgiving Chloe? I okay well I used to go to my cousin's cousin's house which was my mom's neighbor growing up and then we just I just called them my aunt and uncles and everything like that I used to go there and celebrate Thanksgiving with them with their whole big family and I used to hang out with my like my cousin and we got really close then it was she's like my favorite I love her but it was just a lot of fun like I remember um, all the, the dads are there, and then like we'd see her great grandma, like fall asleep. I oh, love her, but <laughs> it was just like a lot of fun. We were like kids, and we got along with all the cousins. We'd play games and stuff, and we just stopped going. I think they moved. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You I think, think that's what happened is they moved, but we stopped going, and it became my more immediate family, which is fine. Love the fam, love my brothers and my parents, but it just became us. And my mom would cook, and my mom loves to cook. So like the day before, the day of, she used to just get everything ready like the turkey we'd have she'd cook a lot like we'd have a lot of food for our like family of five and you know we'd watch a little bit of football we'd eat our food with like 30 minutes like we ate it quick but we'd have leftovers for like weeks no that's an exaggeration we'd have a leftover like a week but it was a lot of food and oh we do that like wishbone thing too where you let the wishbone dry out and then like i didn't think that was fight. a real thing i'm not gonna lie I, I no think it is actually did that. you take the wishbone out of the turkey you let it dry and then you like do the little pinky things and you tear it apart and the, i don't know what the winner got i honestly don't remember yeah i did not know people actually did that yeah but i like the leftover comment because we usually have like our thanksgiving desserts for breakfast mm -hmm. the next day yeah. Other than the traditions that you do, do you have any like fun Thanksgiving stories that have stuck with you over the years? I do. <laughs> so my little fun story is the way I got my cat, which is kind of funny. So going back to how I used to go to my cousin's cousin's house, one year it was when we only had a dog, and we saw these little baby kittens outside, and also these really big raccoons, which we'll get to later. But um, these little baby kittens, and like my family was like, oh my gosh, like, look at them, they're so cute, which one's your favorite? And I was like, the calico one is my favorite. And my mom's like, the black cat's my favorite. You know, I love the black cats. And uh, we were trying to persuade my dad to get us the cat. We're like, please, we don't have any cats. Please let us get a cat. And my dad was like, no, we're not getting a cat. So um, just like moving on a few weeks later, uh, my parents get a call and they're like, hey, so good and bad news. Um, you know how we saw those kittens on Thanksgiving? They were adorable, we loved them. Turns out, two of them were eaten by raccoons. Yeah, so the last one left, that black cat my mom loved. And I guess she persuaded my dad, and one, one day, we see like one of my parents holding like a, the carrier case with the kitten in it, and we got that black cat. That is my cat, Pepper. We love her, she's feisty and kind of mean, but that is how we got her. Her siblings were eaten by raccoons, and the like family that we like that house we'd go to, they were like, if we catch this cat, will you take her? And I guess my parents said yes, and now I have a cat. And then I got another one. But I love my cat. That's the one I'm really excited to 
Um, see when I get back. She one time actually got stuck behind a toilet. I remember that last minute. Yeah, she's very tiny because when we got her, she was like four weeks old. And like one of the first like few days we got her, she like got behind our toilet and got stuck. And so in being stuck, my dad would like lure her out and stuff. But yeah, no, she used to she was mean too. But like we also used to like be well, we weren't mean to her, but we would like always want to pet her, always want to pick her up. And so she just kind of developed that like a little more hostile kind of vibe. But we love her. She used to like lie on our next to and like suffocate us at night. That's just slightly we love her I'm not no, gonna she's, lie. So cute. she's really fat too <laughs> but okay well that's enough of my story and my cat what are some of your stories Anna I okay my my aunt that I have Thanksgiving like her house at um that was in English but it's fine close <laughs> enough close enough <laughs> she okay for some reason she is convinced that I love mashed potatoes I don't um, as we discussed, like, I think it was the first week, I'm a very picky eater. So I love French fries, not mashed potatoes, though. Um, so every year I pull up, ready for Thanksgiving, and she's like, Anna, don't worry. I have the mashed potatoes. There's plenty of mashed potatoes for you. I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. And then, like, I say to her at the end of the night, I'm like, you know, like, I really, I don't, like, you really don't need to make me mashed potatoes. It's really okay. Like, it's, it's really okay. Like, you don't need to make them. And it's like, it's just been going on for years. And so <laughs> this year I was like, okay. Oh, also I love ham. And so I always beg what to have ham things? for Thanksgiving. And so I was like, okay, I'm coming home from college. I said to my mom, I was like, can you please tell her that I want ham for Thanksgiving? And so I had a text from her the other day and it says, hey Anna, like I hope college is going great. Just want to let you know there will be ham at Thanksgiving. So I was really excited love him and I was like let's go um, I keep reading the text though and she goes and don't worry we will have mashed potatoes <laughs> and I was like are we kidding <laughs> I was like really like every year I tell her no mashed potatoes and here we are but yeah but yeah I feel like Thanksgiving is like the prime of fall though like I feel like when I think of Thanksgiving I'm like that's just the fall kind of vibe I disagree I think that fall is Halloween but like go off no. Uh, agree to disagree. November, I don't know, has that, like, that vibe to it. Well, you're just completely wrong, but we'll get into that right after this break. Athletics, Aaron, there are six big points. This is the one you've been waiting for. This group has never beaten Cortland. Getting started with some men's soccer as the Lakers had two conference matchups for half of the Lakers' goals this entire season. Offense what? is key. You talked all about scoring goals. Good evening and welcome to WTOP 10 Nightly News. For the governor race with a strong lead, former Governor Andrew Cuomo is... Barlow announced the completion of a large building mural in downtown Oswego. The renovations on the Hewitt Union building, turning it into the new Hewitt Hall. And as we move into tomorrow, that rain is going to be in our area. Moving to the diamond now, a sweet Caroline got a lot sweeter last night. Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire, but you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. We've been marinating chicken in all sorts of liquids for 24 hours. These are vitamins and minerals and things that you need, nutrients. Oh, the chicken speedy is a staple of our culture. Welcome back to the Kinda Late Show, where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. So here's the thing that I wanted to bring up. I feel like we just skipped over fall. Yeah, it just kind of went from like the summer, 65, 70 degrees, just to like winter and like 
freezing cold rain. It was fall for maybe like five minutes. Fall's my favorite season too, and I'm kind of sad that it's not like the same that it was back home. No, I fully agree because fall is just perfect. Like right now, it's just like it was fall for five minutes, and then Halloween happened, and then everybody was like Christmas. No, and the weather was just like that too. I don't understand why it just had to do that to me. I was I love fall. I love the temperatures. I love the smells, and it's just I don't know. But like. December, that's literally Christmas. Yeah. But like, like because November is like Christmas, Thanksgiving for a week, and then Christmas, and then December is just Christmas crazy. Yeah, no. I But like, I like that kind of vibe more. And November is just kind of like an eh month for me. Because it just feels like it should be Christmas, but it's not yet. Yeah. And I don't like how it got so cold so quickly. I can't take it. I like, I hate the fact that it was like, I love doing like work outside when it's like 65 and like 70 where it's like warm and then suddenly it's just like 39, windy, sleet, hail. Windy. <laughs> I can't do it. It's like, I hate it. I don't like the cold. No, it was, defi it was definitely cold all of a sudden. Like it was nice and like crispy out. I'd yeah. call it crispy. Like yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I agree. Yeah. And now it's just cold, but not a fan of that. I, I was expecting like a nice, really hot to like kind of warm kind of chilly that's my favorite weather it's like kind of chilly fall no. vibes yes but no. and then it can get colder which i'm not excited for it to get cold because no. i was already cold today like i when i when it's too cold i can't wear my nice like fall outfit I'm so jeans and cute sweaters i brought exactly. so many cute sweaters didn't get to wear any of them because i'm too cold i literally just wear like two sweatshirts at a time and leggings and call it a day because That's what I do. I'm too cold in the morning to like try to look nice and if I do look nice then I'm outside freezing all day and it's just not the move. Like you can't even do anything because if you want to wear something nice you have to put a big jacket over it and I'm like I like a coat I don't understand like I'm, also when is the time to break out the winter coats because I read something they were like wow all the freshmen are breaking out the winter coats early and I'm like I don't know what to do man I'm not used to this why are you judging <laughs> me like I have no idea like I broke out my winter coat the other night and I was like it's still kind of warm out. Well, not warm. It was cold, but like, not big coat weather ready. Like, uh, like I don't know. Like I feel like I have two different kinds of jackets. One that's like supposed to kind of keep me warm, but like it's light, and then my just big winter coat. And I have nothing really in between. And I don't know when it's time to break it out. And I'm gonna get judged. And I, I don't want to be judged, man. See, I don't even have like a winter coat. Well, I do. It's just chilling in my closet. I'm probably not gonna wear. It. I just have a big windbreaker that I stole from my cousin that I wear when I'm cold. That's pretty much it. But you know what? We're here to celebrate Thanksgiving, which, I mean, it is next week. So stay tuned for a very fun Thanksgiving-themed game after this break. We've been marinating chicken in all sorts of liquids for 24 hours. vitamins and minerals and things that you need, nutrients. The oh, chicken speedy is a staple of our it's culture. It's Donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Good evening and welcome to WTOP 10 Nightly News. For the governor race with a strong lead, former Governor Andrew Cuomo is... Barlow announced the completion of a large building mural in downtown Oswego. The renovations on the Hewitt Union building, turning it into the new Hewitt Hall. And as we move into tomorrow, that rain is going to be in our area. Moving to the Diamond now, a sweet Caroline got a lot sweeter last night.
Welcome back to the Kinda Late Show, Thanksgiving edition. The show where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. And it seems like today we have a very brand new game to play. So this new game is something I would like to call, Will Anna Eat This? So we're, what we're <laughs> going to do is lift, list off a bunch of different Thanksgiving foods, and I'm going to guess whether or not Anna is going to want to eat it or not. I don't have high expectations for this, and honestly, I think she won't eat most of the foods listed. Anna I'm is one picky. of the pickiest <laughs> eaters I know, so this is going to be fun, and it's going to, be, it's going to be fun to see what she actually wants to eat and what she doesn't, so let's get into it. The first one is turkey. I, I think she, ooh, I feel like if there is only turkey, she will eat it, but if it's, if there's ham on the table, she won't. <laughs> What's your answer? I will never touch turkey. Really? Ever. It is so gross. I'm not even like a turkey fan, and I still eat it sometimes. Like if there's not ham at Thanksgiving, like I won't eat like a main like meat meal, whatever. Okay. Like only ham. I don't. Turkey's gross. No, I. I mean, I'm not like a big meat person either. But like turkey, like I don't love turkey. But like Thanksgiving, even the thought of it is just. Uh. No, like sometimes it's okay. Like when it's cooked right, when it, it tastes good. You don't want, like, one time there was, like, a dry turkey, and I was like, ooh. But, like, if it's, like, a nice, good turkey, like, why not? It's just, it just, ugh, I can't even, the thought of turkey is just nauseating. Yeah, I, I think can't. you're wrong, is what I think. You think I'm wrong a lot of time. I do think you're wrong a lot. But the next one is ham, which you kind of just said before, and you talked about it earlier. So I do think you'll eat ham. Let's do you? <laughs> maybe not, actually. No. I think she will eat ham. What do you have to say about that, Anna? I love ham. I make my grandma make ham for like every birthday event because like she'll be like, oh, we're having like my cousin's birthday dinner. I'm like, can we have ham? And she's like, fine. So we have ham. But yeah. Okay. I'm not the biggest ham fan, but I am the biggest mashed potato fan. I do love mashed potatoes. But Anna, are you a mashed potato fan? Nope. That's what I kind of was guessing. I argue with my aunt about every year, no mashed potatoes. And then every year, Anna, don't worry. There's plenty of mashed potatoes for you. And I just, I don't understand. How though? <laughs> mashed potatoes is kind of like the simplest thing ever and it's delicious. But another thing that I used to like when I was younger but I don't really right now, stuff. I don't think you're a stuffing fan. I feel like there's too many ingredients for you. Yeah, no, no, she's not a stuffing fan. What even, what even is stuffing? Like it's just, ooh. I don't know. I used to like it but I don't really like it as much. I feel like gravy, you don't like gravy. Nope. <laughs> How? Okay, gravy just makes everything taste kind of better. Like, I used to not be a gravy person, but like, gravy right now, mm, mashed potatoes on the turkey, just delicious. Gravy, like, doesn't even smell good. Like, and yes, I watch, it does. I'll watch my brother and my cousins, like, douse their, ugh. It's so good. They'll just put so much gravy on it, and I just, I just, As I'm sitting there and I just can't even look at it. Like, it's just not appetizing at all. You're wrong. But what about the cranberry sauce? I, you're not a cranberry sauce person, no. I've thought about it because it looks like it, it could looks possibly good. be good. It is. But then I think about it more, and then I'm like, no. It's not bad. Like I'm like it's not my first choice to go with. Like I won't go, ooh, cranberry sauce. But like, if it's there, I will have it with my turkey. And I feel like you should too, Anna. It's no. not bad. Like it, it tastes like cranberries. I, but I also feel like you wouldn't be a cranberry person either. But for the next one, green beans. I feel like you. I've never seen you get them at the dining hall, but I feel like you would be, no, you wouldn't be a green bean person, would you? No, you're not. Final answer. <laughs> but buzz, final buzz, answer. Buzz, final answer, you're not a green bean person. I am not a green bean person, but I used to like them when I was younger, but not anymore. Mm, okay. Well, what so about you're close. sweet potatoes? You, I think you are a sweet potato person, but like, it's weird because like, you don't like regular potatoes, but like, sweet potatoes, yes. No. But I actually have a really funny story about sweet potatoes. Because, so every year my mom makes that dish, I don't know if it like has a name, it's sweet potatoes and you get like roast marshmallows yeah. on top. So every year my mom makes it and almost every year, um, she burns it, sets off the smoke detector, almost burns the house down. Okay. And so cool. every year yeah. like we make fun of her for it and she's like, oh like, ha ha, and then does it again. And it's like a whole funny thing. Um, so like every time she makes it, we're like, oh, how many times you almost burned down the house this time, this year? And it's just, it's really funny because the whole house will, sm will fill, out, fill up with smoke and then everybody's like, oh, 
mom put the mom burnt the sweet potatoes again <laughs> it's really funny I'm, I'm not a sweet potato person i honestly kind of don't really want to try the marshmallow one either i like it's been there but i don't like it but uh what about carrot cake i feel like you do you don't like carrot cake There's a, that's a vegetable in a in a dessert you don't like it final answer <laughs> no i don't like carrot cake oh my, my all my like family do though my aunt makes apparently it's really good so all my like uncles and my dad will all like fight over it because they just really and my cousins they really like it it just doesn't like why why are you combining carrots and cake i don't even i, I, don't, I, I, I don't, would assume there's actual carrots in it i know some things you name them and that's not actually what they are i'm assuming there's actual carrots and carrot cake and it just does not sound appetizing in any way shape or form i honestly i don't i probably have had it before can i remember no and i probably i will be unwilling to try it again I, it just like also like the vegetable aspect which is weird i like i'm not the i do like carrots but i don't think enough to eat it in a cake and, they're not my vibe, but other than carrot cake, apple pie, I love apple pie. Uh, I feel like you hate it, though. I wouldn't say I hate it. Dis dislike it? I can't, I couldn't tell you the last time I've tried apple pie. Like, I like apples. I just don't think they both, I don't, I don't know. I'm not rocking with apple pie. Pie, though, okay. I'm rocking with chocolate pudding pie. No. But apple pie all the only, way. No, you have to hear me out. Only in an no. Oreo cookie crust. If you make, because my aunt will make it in just like a regular pie crust, and it just really like doesn't. You need the extra like kick of the or. Oh, I make it in an Oreo crust, and it's just my favorite thing ever. I made it for pie day in fifth grade, and everybody ate all of it. It was all gone within like ten minutes because it was so good. Just like I really like chocolate, so it's just like the chocolate pudding pie with the chocolate Oreo cookie crust. No. It's perfect, but my aunt will make it with a regular pie crust and I refuse to eat it. I feel like it would be better with that Oreo. That honestly does sound pretty good. I'm not like the, I mean, I like pudding, but like apple pie still has like a special place in my heart. I will, I love apple pie. I will do anything for apple pie. That's like one of my favorite desserts ever. It is, yeah, exactly. It's an American classic. I love it. It's the best thing ever and I will continue to eat it, hopefully every Thanksgiving ever. And honestly, it's just, I don't know how you don't like it or don't love it. And pie crust is the best part of the pie. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I look forward to eating a pie, I look forward to eating the crust of the pie. And no, I but live the by the regular that. pie crust just doesn't hit the same as the Oreo cookie pie crust. Cause you have the chocolate pudding pie, right? And it's all nice and chocolatey and sweet. And then I understand some people want to do like a sweet and like a savory, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm not that type of person. Like it's gotta all be sweet. So like just the chocolate pudding pie in the Oreo cookie crust. I also just love Oreos. So it's just it like- Makes sense. Oh, it's just perfect. The chocolate with the chocolate just combines perfectly and I just love it. No, I'm gonna have to, I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but agree to disagree. Apple pie will still be the champion in my heart. Just everything about it, perfection, I don't Wrong. really know. But talking about all this food has made me really hungry. We should go get some food right now because that seems like all the time we have for today. Make sure you follow us on our Twitter at WTOP Kinda Late. And we hope to see you next time on The, the Kinda, Kinda Late, Late Show. Show. Good evening and welcome to WTOP 10 Nightly News. For the governor race with a strong lead, former Governor Andrew Cuomo is... Barlow announced the completion of a large building mural in downtown Oswego. The renovations on the Hewitt Union building, turning it into the new Hewitt Hall. And as we move into tomorrow, that rain is going to be in our area. Moving to the diamond now, a sweet Caroline got a lot sweeter last night. Major Discussions is the new show that explores the stories of students here, right here on campus. I personally came here to SUNY Oswego for the broadcasting program because I love to hear people's stories and to do work just like this. What's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure's too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just 
Please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. 